one. Make it the other one. it to give me a like and subscribe that would really help me out I'm a small channel so it's really hard for me to get subscription be very much appreciated if you just click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner at the end of the video or on my channel itself for this video that I made on this new style of clip holster for my Glock 17 okay so I wanted to share with you guys this new holster that I came across and it's an, a new concept to me I don't know if anybody's come out with something similar but I really like it because it takes you know a thicker concealed carry holster like this and basically eliminates everything but just the clip which is much smaller so it's a lot more comfortable to carry around in your waistband and it's done in an unorthodox but very effective way. So, first off, here is the packaging that came in. It's the Zokin Slim Clip Tool. It's made in China, but it seems to be a pretty darn good quality, in my opinion, because of this little black bag. And inside, we have the clip itself, which will act as the holster a new slide cover plate, an allen wrench, and then two screws is all it needs, but it comes with six, so it gives you four extra with four extra lock washers. So there's the clip itself, see how thin that is. And you can adjust it for inside the waistband, outside the waistband, for left-handed or right-handed. And that's what sold me on it, because I'm left-handed, so it's hard to find a good left-handed holster. So all you gotta do is you need to take off your slide cover plate. To do that, first off, chamber's clear. You just need to take your slide off. And then, you got your cover plate there. So, this silver thing, you wanna push it up. To loosen it, and then take your Allen key here. And you want to push down on that spring in there, and then when you push down on that, you slide the cover plate off like this. And it's as easy as that. And the reason for pushing down on that is so this doesn't go flying off. Okay, so now once you got that taken off, you're ready to put on cover plate they provide you, which is that, see it has the two threaded screw holes in it. Okay, so now to do that, you find the little in inset notches right there, and then you're going to want to push down on this little black circle thing, spring, and you're going to slide that in there, just like that, and push down on that. So you get the clearance to slide it up. Just the way. And once you got it slid up all that way, then there's this little circle spring right there. You can see that right there? And then you just need to push that down. Take the Allen key that came with it. And you're just gonna push down on that. And slide this past it. And there you go. That's all there is to that. So now, you can reassemble the slide back under the frame. Okay, so once you got that new cover plate on there, you're just going to want to attach it to the frame, obviously. Slide it back on. 
just as you would do any time you use some of your block. And then you got two threaded holes there made just for the split. Now since I'm left-handed, I'm gonna set it up for inside the waistband first. Now I know most people are right-handed, so if you're right-handed and you want it inside the waistband, you're gonna want to put it on that side. Okay. So we take two of the screws, they provide you with two of the lock washers. Get it started a little bit with my fingers. And then I'm gonna do the same with the other one. Get it started with my hand. And there we go. Now we can finish it off with the Allen wrench. So I've got them seated in all the way. I'll give them one more quick torque. Not doing it too much because you don't want to strip out the threads. And that should be good right there. And there it is. Now you got this clip, which takes up very little room. Comparing that to something like this, Look at that difference. It's either that much thickness on your hip or just a little clip. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this inside the waistband first. It's as simple as that. Much more comfortable than your standard. So the waistband holster clip. So I really like this. Let's see how easy it is to release. And then say you're I'm not gonna take the time to switch it over to the other side, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do outside the waistband. Let's see? Nice and sturdy. Good pull out and release. Very impressed. So, one other thing I forgot to mention was this is available on Amazon for about $17. And I'm really impressed with it. I think I would use this more than my holster, honestly. Not only due to comfortable, but having just this little clip obscuring from your waistline is a lot less noticeable than having all of that coming out of your waistline. Look at that. It's here you just have the barrel of the gun. You don't have all of this extra. Now, granted, you don't have a trigger guard like, like that there protecting you from having a discharge if you accidentally hit the striker fire on there and let a round go but I mean I would expect most trained and experienced shooters that do conceal carry that's probably the least of their worries and they have enough discipline and trigger discipline for that not to happen that being said there are people out there that even with that training and experience might make a mistake so if you f don't feel comfortable with that maybe you should just keep one out of the chamber while you're carrying but then again if you get in a life or death situation then you're gonna have to rack it back before you potentially save you or somebody else's life and that's one more thing I wanted to mention about this so this part is right up against the slide you lose that texture to grab onto but honestly one side with my thumb is more than enough for me so it doesn't affect my ability to rack the slide back whatsoever so yeah just figured I'd add that in I'll leave the link in the description to this it's a uh, $17 it's by a company Zokim and yeah it says it works for look like almost every Glock model on the market, Gen 1 through 5. And I will include all of that in the description also, which models it works with and the exact generations that it works for. 
so yeah thanks for watching don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe and i'll have new content coming soon have a good rest of your weekend and thanks for watching